Hey, welcome back to the channel. Just want to start off by saying, uh, never thought I'd hit a thousand subscribers. It's pretty uh, gratifying. Thank you for that. And uh, uh, hopefully to gain more followers and more subscribers. Uh, if you guys aren't already, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you. Today we're going to get into mapping the buttons on the ALP to VPX. I will have a separate video that goes over FX3, which it is a little bit different, but the overall gist of this video is a limited joy to key. We don't want to use that anymore. I stopped using it. It's just a redundancy when both VPX and FX3 can pull data or utilize the ALP as a controller itself. So we're going to get into that today. All right, first things first, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the PC can see the ALP as a controller. Windows should detect the ALP as a controller. It should be in the control panel. Um, so we're going to go into that real quick. With the ALP connected to the PC in OTG mode on your PC, right click on the Windows icon. Click Run and type in joy.cpl, or alternatively search for joystick in the Windows search field. Then you select set up USB game controllers. This will open up the game controllers for you, but this seems, the easy, seems to be the easiest method for most. Once you have that open, double click it, and there are your button assignments. At this point, you wanna make sure you know what joystick button number is the physical button you plan to use. So documenting these numbers, it's fairly easy. All you have to do is click the buttons on the ALP and everything lights up. Your plunger is your Z axis, which will be tied and mapped to Z axis. And I believe both VPX and FX3. If you're not seeing this connection, it could be a variable amount of things. Uh, it could be the cable, it could be output on the PC. There's multitude of known cables that function, so I would suggest searching those first, Googling it. There's a bunch on Reddit posted, and trying those first before anything else. On the ALP with the control panel, we have obviously extra button assignments. So the XYZ are 7, 14, and 13. The A, B, C are 9, 3, and 14. All the buttons can be used and can be mapped in these programs. Now we're going to get into how do we map these buttons, these numbers, in VPX. You're going to want to go into your tables folder and right click on any of the tables and click edit. Once you're in edit, go into preferences, configure keys, nudge, and DOF. Just bring this down where I can see it a little bit better here. See the button numbers and the uh, corresponding key? So our left flipper is button 11, right flipper is button 6. Magnus saves, I have them set as the X and Y, I believe, on my setup because uh, there's not many games that utilize the Magnus save, but it is important when they do appear. Uh, adds a little bit more immersion to the game and fun. Um, so in the future, I plan on adding an extra Magnus save button, but for now, I'm reaching up to the top of the ALP to the control panel. And then you have your start game. I have mine set as button 10. Feel free to match my settings, but this can all be tweaked by just selecting it and picking corresponding button. You want to make sure that you leave plunger as none because it's set up over here in the center here as your Z axis. And I have a currently have a one to one on plunger ratio. So it's as I pull on the plunger in VPX, it's showing the same distance being pulled on the plunger. Once you have everything set up to, the, to your liking, what you want to do is just test it out real quick. Click play. And give it a shot. I have my coins 
on the uh, set in the center panel of the ALP on the left button, the left square button, and I have the start set as the right square button. It just feels natural to me. So I'm gonna hit click start now. And we're gonna look at the plunger pool. See that? Doing this one handed. Let me uh, jump on here real quick. All right, let's check the nudges. Right nudge, left nudge, forward nudge. Everything set to the ALP. And my back game, also the back arrows on the ALP. There we go. That's how you do it. It's not overly difficult at all. You can tweak it to your specifications and your preferences. So have at it. If you have any tips that you want to add, comment down below. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate the new subscribers. Appreciate the longtime subscribers. And got more content coming your way.